Well, hot damn, everybody. I didn't even know I'd be doing this game day. Woke up this morning, had friggin' surprise DLC. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I just took a quick look and downloaded it. I've been playing... I'm talking, of course, about the two new decks that we have to play now. Uh, I've been playing this green-blue a little bit. You can see I got five cards unlocked for that. I've been enjoying it quite a bit. I have not even looked at this white-red, though. I, I figured I played the green-blue a little bit, and then I figured that I wanted to do a, a little playthrough of the the white red just kind of see how it handles I have not even opened this pack I mean I haven't even cracked the plastic on this thing uh, I actually had a completely different game plan for today I had no idea this DLC was coming out so I guess I'm just kinda of behind behind my uh, my magic knowledge I don't know but I'm, pre I'm pretty friggin excited uh, I'm not gonna play obviously I'm not gonna play uh, unlocked deck in ranked matches, and I play on, uh, PSN, so, uh, unless, or quick, or the, like, quick play matches, are those ranked? I never really figured out if they were or not, I always just do ranked matches anyway, but I'm not gonna be unlocking, uh, cards, um, that way. I'm just gonna be playing a couple of these, uh, we're just gonna be playing through the campaign here, just, uh, figuring out what this deck's all about, kind of playtesting a little bit, and and seeing where we get from there. Act of War, take one. I'm friggin' stoked. I haven't even... I have no idea what any of these cards even are. This is nuts. Uh, so like I said, this is gonna be pretty exciting, I hope. Uh, it's pretty fun. The, the green-blue is actually pretty fun. I'm gonna do a first impressions video here in a bit after I uh, get through the first couple of plays or playthroughs with this deck. I like the mana right now. Uh, Swift Blade, Double Strike, 1-2. That's pretty good. Two drop. Uh, Veteran Armor gives him plus one in the ass. That's pretty good. Uh, Rally of the Righteous. Radiance, Untapped Heart Creature. Other creatures that shares a color. This creature is a plus two until end of turn. That's pretty good. This is kind of like a surprise deck, I guess. Four gets plus two when you're attacking, plus two when you're defending. Uh... Okay, yeah, we'll keep this. I think this is pretty good. I We got some two drops. We're on the draw. Kind of wish we were on the play. I feel like this is the kind of deck that we're going to want to be on the play a lot. So I guess we got two of these double strikers. That's pretty good. Uh, the first strike of double strike, uh, of course, is first strike. So that damage is going to be dealt before anything else. I'm kind of worried facing Towerand here about getting overwhelmed late game because it looks like I have a lot of quick openers and if he's gonna be dropping fog banks if he's got spank banks for days I'm gonna be in trouble so let's see what we just drew to arms untap all creatures you control draw a card we'll drop a creature I mean I can't even attack in against spank bank because it's not gonna matter so it looks like I'm gonna have some dead turns he's gonna be dropping flyers I might be in trouble here oh I really don't like this uh, right away, just looking at this deck, just like the very first impression I have of this is that it's going to run a lot like goblins. Um, so I'm really worried about my late game. Like once I run out of cards, I feel like I'm just going to unload my hand really quickly and then just kind of sit and wait to die. So I'm not super excited for that. I do have enough mana to drop this guy eventually, which is which is nice. We'll go ahead and drop our second attacker. Uh, and then just kind of hang back a little bit. Um, it doesn't matter if we attack, so we might as well not. I'm I'm ex I'm happy that we'll be able to drop this uh, armor guy though, because when he starts dropping uh, those two two drakes, these double strikers will be able to swing in still and remove them from the game. So that's sweet. And he didn't have it right there, so that's that's always good. That's a four drop, isn't it? I should probably drop that right now. Uh, now, he laid this down for some reason. He put down the ring, which doesn't do anything to that creature because it doesn't deal damage either. I'm just going to lay my regular land. I'm going to drop this. Counterspell? Nope. Okay. That's, that's not bad. No cancel. So that's pretty good. That's going to be six damage coming in on him. That's not bad at all. Bounce? No, he's just taking the six like straight G. Alright, I like that a lot. <laughs> I don't have a problem with that happening. 
Oh, uh, so that's a 2 4, but it doesn't matter. Land for turn. Why the hell would. Oh my god, okay. Interesting. Interesting, I guess. Must have drawn it. I don't really like playing the computer too much. I don't have anything that's. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and drop drop this. Probably get that mountain. I don't really know how the land shakes out here. Oh, wait, so now he obviously has the cancel. Because he's trying to get me... Trying to get me to drop it so he can cancel it. So we won't. We'll wait till he's tapped down. He'll still take two damage. He's got three cards in hand. He bounced that. I'm, I'm willing to bet specifically to cancel it. Uh, we could give our guy the plus two and have him cancel this instead, but that's more of a defensive card. There seems to be a lot of defensive tricks in here. You can swing all out and then still have a pretty good defense. Uh, we'll go ahead and just let this ride, take him down to 12. We'll wait to play our buff until he's tapped down. Uh, we'll play this guy, see what happens here. Freaking kicking goddamn ass. All right, fine. We'll get our mountain. There we go. Drop that bad boy. We still got we still got tricks. Not that we'll be able to block anything he lays, but three five worth. I mean, he has to just have like cancels and shit in hand because there's no other reason that he's just sitting up there doing nothing. Yep. Okay. Right. There they come. I don't think he has mana leak at this point. I really don't. So I think we're safe dropping this or this. I mean. Uh, and then we can still untap and draw. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and lay it. We'll see what happens. Guys are gonna get huge! There we go. We'll still just come in with these boys. Uh, he could double block. He could be insane and double block here, but I don't really care if he does. Double block? No damage gets through? Nope. Nope! There we go. Get rid of one of those tokens. See, yeah, I, don't, I just don't, I don't know about this deck, man. I'm kind of worried about it. Because Tauran's late game is insane, and it looks like my late game is non-existent. So, I'm also really worried about this deck against Black. Because if I'm playing Liliana, and he drops that freaking, or Liliana drops that freaking 3-drop infest, that just lays waste to my side. That is terrible. One fives on the swing back though, that's pretty good. They untap and they're five in the ass, that's pretty damn good. Right, that guy's gonna get a little bit bigger. Dropping another one. Oh, that is horrible. Does this deck have removal? It would be, so it's the plouches maybe? I got dude, vigilance haste. That's expensive, oh, I don't know if he'll stick around. It's pretty good in this instance though, because it lets me swing in. Oh, sh oh shit, he's gonna be seven when he swings in. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Talrand. Uh, that's probably game, bucko. And get in there. He's, he's, yep, yeah, he's all types of screwed. He's got one life. Oh, God. God. Ugh. I hate that. Don't like him. I don't like leaving him with one life. It sucks balls. All right, this is not bad for first little. Yeah, get your card back. What are you even gonna get? What's he taking out of there? Oh, uh, can't play it. it. Sucks to be you. You got one life. You can't attack. I bet you wish you could draw that card. Yep. Yeah, this is game over. That was pretty sweet draw right there. What's this thing do? Oh, Flamekin Zealots. Flamekin enters the battlefield. Creature control get plus one, plus one, and get haste till end of turn. That's not bad. Oh, so he's a 3-3. Three, three. The turn he comes down. That's pretty good. We'll drop that guy. Insult to injury here. He's got nothing. Oh my god, that's, that's pretty good. Maybe this deck does have late game. Maybe I'm wrong. Just go all out. I don't even care. Because he can bounce stuff. I don't really want to... Slow roll Talrand here and have him screw with me. Because if he bounces, I'm in all sorts of trouble. Uh, The 3-3, three, three, can't even really... Let's see here. 
Yeah, four's getting through that game. Unless he bounces it. Maybe I should kill something anyway. Nah, let it ride. I'm sure. I'm sure we're fine. That's game. Yep. Yep. That's how it's done. That's pretty sweet. All right. Deck manager here. Let's go through. We'll just go through. Get rid of a card. Probably, probably, I don't know. Probably late drops. I think this thing needs to run really fast. The very first thing we're probably going to get rid of is Terramorphic Expanse, though. Because we don't need four of those. The mana seem to be pretty good on these. I wonder if the they're a little bit more lenient mana-wise here. Because the other dual color decks, you only get 20 friggin' lands. Oh, God, I wish they let you adjust those. Alright, that's a pretty good run-through, though. I kind of like that deck. It's got tricks. It's got lots of tricks. I love my tricks. Let's see what card we unlocked here. I'm not even going to really go through most of these, because I'm just getting rid of that land. We'll keep it a surprise. We'll fire liege. Legions. Other, yeah, obviously. Whenever you cast a red spell, deals three damage to target player. Uh, that's pretty good. That looks pretty good. I don't hate that. That's, that's kind of late game. He's a 2-4, though. He's kind of big. I like that. Removal spell. Uh, yeah, he's like a kind of a less cool version of flame titties. So that's pretty good. There you go, you guys. That was the first ever playthrough of uh, this this Boros pack, I guess. I don't know. That's pretty fun. That's a pretty good little deck. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. I don't know. I guess we're going to be doing a couple of these. Uh, and then I'll get my first impressions on this to you. I like these decks, though, overall. I think that went really well. Hopefully that deck has more late game than uh, I first imagined. Uh, hopefully, hopefully it's got some some late game tricks too because I, I am a little worried about it playing out a little too fast and especially against a black deck where they would have stuff like uh like that infest like that is a three drop that just obliterates side because it's going to kill the guy that buffs your ass so it's going to like wreck everything you have so i'm a little worried about that but hopefully that works out uh see you guys on the next one